you are going to feel uncertain. I'm coming here to tell you that it is normal to feel ups and downs, feel uncertain about yourself, question yourself, doubt yourself constantly. Because, you know, I've been struggling a lot these past few weeks. It's been hard for me. I've been questioning everything I'm doing, doubting myself, and really just wondering if I'm making the right choice, making the right decisions, you know, doing all these things. Like I moved, I'm alone, I'm living alone. Moved out of my parents' place, changed jobs. I, I got a worse job that pays less just because that's all I could find, you know, just so I can get out of the house, be alone and really isolate myself so I could grow and really just try to create the life I want. You know, I've been doing my online coaching for a little bit and uh, posting on social media. And to say that it's been perfect is a lie. You know, uh, there's been a lot of struggles with my job, friends, family, and my online business. A lot of things aren't going to plan. You know, you can't plan for the future. You can't see these things coming in advance. And it's really hit me hard mentally and physically. Like, I've fucking been off my diet terribly. My sleep schedule's fucked. I feel like shit. I quit caffeine. And I really had to take a look in the mirror and ask myself why I'm feeling this way. And what can I do to make it better? I had to reevaluate everything I'm doing. I have to re reinvent my entire system completely shut out all the distractions and lock back in uh, I'm feeling a lot better now physically I'm locked back in on the diet I have to be because I can tell you from experience that you know overeating or eating shitty food just destroys you like it makes you a lazy sack of shit so I'm fasting for most of the day I wake up at 3 a.m., I go to work, and then I come home, and then immediately I hit the gym, and then I will work on my online business with coaching clients, and then I'll look at content, do some reading, watch videos like educational videos, make my own content, and then... I kind of just repeat the process like I don't I don't have time to do all the shit that I used to do like go out with my friends and have fun and fuck off on the weekends because that's something I had to sacrifice because the way I envision myself the the place I want to be that version of me doesn't do all those things I don't cheat on my diet I don't see myself going out on the weekends and partying I don't see myself uh, sleeping in super late. I don't see myself mindlessly scrolling on social media. So in order for me to get to where I want to go, I have to do the things that that version of me would be doing. And, you know, it sounds simple, but when you really think about it, that's what you have to do. I, I didn't realize that 100% until I broke it down and really visualized where I want to be because I could see it very vividly now. If I close my eyes, I could see where I want to be. You know, in Florida, driving my dream car. I already have my dream car. One of my dream cars. Fortunately for me, I was blessed enough to be able to get that last year. But right now, my financial situation isn't that good. I've been hitting a lot of roadblocks and unforeseen events come up you know a lot of expenses and whatnot so I'm grinding as hard as I can now working a ton of shitty jobs a lot of side work my job is ending in about a month so I'm gonna have to find another job work my ass off try to build up my online business so I can eventually have that freedom to move but what I was saying was that I can envision that version of myself doing my online business, being able to be free and have any location that I live at. I want to move to Florida just because I like being in the warm. I can't stand being in the Northeast. 
it's cold in the winters. I don't like uh, winter that much, but I can see it. I can see that version of me driving my dream car, being super in shape, helping people every day for free and with my coaching, you know, trying to help people through my content and just document my life, my experiences. And that's, that's what I have to do. Like I have to live that life before I can attain it. You know, I have to do all those things that'll lead me there. The process is going to be a struggle because it has been for me. It's only been, you know, a couple months that I just really started this up and really locked in and had some tunnel vision and focus on what my true goals are. Because before this, I was just going through life on a friggin' sailboat, just letting the wind take me wherever it wanted. You know, I, I wasn't in control. I wasn't in the driver's seat. I wasn't steering my life in any direction because I didn't think that I could do anything that I wanted. I couldn't achieve like everything that you see on social media. Most of it is fake, but there are certain things out there that you can learn from because a lot of it looks so unattainable that you don't think that you can do it. But seeing the people come up, like I've watched people come up, people that I'm close to or people that I just see on social media that come from a worse position that I'm in, had worse cards that they were dealt and they were able to do something very great, like create a life for themselves that I would want or not even that I specifically want, but something that they wanted. And that inspired me to completely just pursue my goals because huh, what, what do I have to lose? Like this is the only life I have and if I'm not living it to my standard, to my full potential, putting in all my effort, then that's just a joke. Like I'm kidding myself at the end of the day that I'm happy with my life if I'm not putting in all my effort into what my goals are. You know, imagine, imagine you were to die and you live a hundred years of your life and you always worried about what other people think. You never truly pursued your passion. You just took the safe route. And God says to you, you lived a hundred years and you didn't do anything. You didn't live up to your potential. Like this is, he shows you the life that you could have lived. This could have been you, you know, and you look at that and you're like, there's no way. There's no way that could be me, but it could be because you're not doing the things that get you uncomfortable. You're not doing the things that lead you there. You're not committed. And it, it's never going to feel right. You're, you're always going to think that you don't have things figured out. I've heard this from a lot of people too that are successful, more successful than me, that you never really know. You never really feel like you have anything figured out. You're just kind of going with it. But as long as you're putting in all your effort, things will happen. You, opportunities will come and you just have to take every day as it is. You have to live every day, day by day, and make sure you can set up your goals for each day and hit those goals. You're winning each day, and then over a long period of time, you're winning the weeks, then you're winning the months, then you're winning the years, and if you win enough years throughout your life, then you win life. Like, that's, that's where your ultimate happiness comes from, is pursuing your passion, finding your purpose, and doing it, putting in all your effort, because even if you don't reach that goal that you're aiming for, if you see something through to the end, even if you don't reach that goal, you still become the person that you want it to be, you know? Uh, like, for instance, in high school, I started wrestling. Like, I did nothing before high school. I mean, I did a little bit of sports when I was really young, but like middle school, I did nothing. I just played video games. I just was a chubby little kid. I had no ambition and I didn't want to do shit. Like I was shy, I didn't want to do anything. And my parents forced me to pick a sport in the beginning of the school year, which was the fall going into the winter. And the only thing, the only options I had was like swimming 
or wrestling. So like, I'm like, I'm not fucking doing swimming. I'm not gonna wear a little speedo. So I decided to do wrestling, and that ended up being one of the best decisions I ever made because even though I wasn't that good because I started very late, you know, you're going up against people who have been doing this since they were like five years old. But I learned a lot from that because in the beginning I wasn't committed, but it became a part of me. It molded me into a person with discipline because even though I didn't achieve, you know, the goal of becoming the greatest or having a a crazy record, undefeated record or state champ or whatever, I still learned discipline, you know, and learn that you get out what you put in. You put in enough effort and you will see the results. Maybe you won't see it immediately, but it pays off in the end because me sticking through to that all four years of high school, even though I wanted to quit like every coming year, I'm like, I want to quit because a lot of shit would go on. Like the teams, the team size like drastically shrunk because no one did wrestling in my high school. And then Eventually, my senior year, the team was so small that they combined it with a nearby school whose team was also very small. So it's like the I didn't have the same coaches. I didn't know anyone. And I wanted to quit, but I'm like, I came this far. I can't just give up. And that's something that you have to take with you, with anything you do in your life. And that's the mindset I have now is the things that I'm doing now. I know I'm helping people. I know it's the right thing. I know the the life I'm building is going to take me where I want to go. Even if I don't get there exactly where I envision, I know that if I don't give up and I keep going, I'll become someone who is a lot better than from when I started. I'm going to become a person who can create a life that is good, that I'm happy with. You know, I can have a family. I can make my parents proud. And all I'm saying is all the doubts that you have, all the uh, objections that you're giving yourself is just that version of yourself in your head, that past version of yourself that you have to let go of. Because for you to achieve your goals and become the person you want to be, You have to sit in that mindset of being that person of what they would think because the old version of you is still in your head. Like I still get those uh, self-doubts, you know, that shyness, that anxiety, that depression that I used to have when I was a kid. And those when those thoughts creep in, you have to think about that part of your life, that era of your life, what it was like to listen to those thoughts and where that brought you. And that scares me because it brought me into the worst part of my life, the deepest depressions and not being able to take action of my own life. So I know changing my mindset, changing my actions, even though I'm not always 100% certain of everything I'm doing, doing things differently than how I did will bring me to a different outcome. You know, what's the saying with the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome. And that's what it is. You can't keep doing the same thing that you're doing and expect to create a better life for yourself because that won't happen. You have to plan and execute. I haven't made a video in a while. So I, I, cause I was struggling a lot with a lot of thoughts and I didn't know what to speak on. Like I would come on here and I'm like, I don't really have a good video idea. I don't know if it's going to be good enough. You know, I'm watching back my old videos. I'm like, Ugh, you know, I could have done this better. I could, you know, I have more things to say after I post the video. I'm like, oh, maybe it's not that good. It's not getting a lot of views, but that doesn't matter because when I sit down, I put the camera up and I just talk about my experiences, think about everything that's going on in my life. And I figure You know, even if it doesn't get a lot of views, whoever views this might find some value out of it, might take this opportunity to change the way they think and the way they live. You have to change. You have to constantly evolve in this world or else you're going to get left behind. I made a promise to myself that I was going to post more often and I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say right here, I'm going to post daily. 
I, I said it on video, so I have to keep my word. You know, I, I said it, I think, in my last video or a couple of videos ago that I might do daily, but now I'm going to say it. I'm going to post daily. I'm going to come on here and tell you my thoughts, my experiences, anything that's going to help you that helped me. I'm going to relay it and I'm going to document everything, my entire journey, my thought process, and hopefully you can find some value. I'm just going to keep going. Can't give up. Don't listen to those doubts. Look in the mirror and see that old version of yourself and realize that's not you anymore. You have to kill that old version of you off. Become someone new and just commit. Commit your entire being and have faith. Have faith in the process. Have faith in God. Have faith in yourself. So, with that being said, if you want to talk to me, have any questions, comment. I try to respond to as many comments as I can whenever I see them. Uh, if you want to reach out to me where I'll probably see it a little better, Instagram, answer my DMs most of the time because I'm on there dealing with clients, whatever. And if you want to get into the best shape of your life, physically and mentally, you can hit me up on Instagram. And with that being said, I hope you took some value out of this and uh, decided to make that change. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed.